Welcome to Spectrum Protect version 717. In this version of the Operations Center, you can set up a local storage for data that is later moved to the cloud. By assigning one or more local storage directories to a cloud container storage pool, you can enhance the performance of backup operations to the cloud and help ensure that your backups complete on time. Obviously, backup performance of a cloud container storage pool is largely dependent on the network connections between the server and the cloud. And so when you back up the data to local storage, the data is going to be buffered efficiently into disk containers. And these disk containers are then transferred to the cloud as large objects. Because with larger objects, you can achieve better performance for both on-premise and off-premise clouds. And so the directories for caching data in cloud container pools are going to be similar to the directories that are used to store data for a directory container pool. And so let's go ahead and show you how that's set up. I'll go through two methodologies. First, I'll show it set up for a new cloud container, and then I'll show how to add it to an existing cloud container. So first, go into Storage, Storage Pools. And if you're creating a new cloud pool, click on the plus storage pool. In version 717, we will automatically allow you to create a hybrid cloud, which includes the directory when you're creating the new cloud pools. So we're just going to go and walk through setting up a cloud off-premise pool. In this case, it will be a Amazon 3 pool. When we add the directories, we have to at least define one directory, but you can specify multiple directories so that the data can be distributed across the directories. And by specifying multiple directories that map to different physical disk drives, you can increase your parallelism and improve the I.O. This directory already has to exist. The directories must be read-write accessible to the Spectrum Protect instance user. Notice if you type in a directory that does not exist, you will get flagged and say you either it doesn't exist or you don't have permissions. Or if the directory is already in use by another container pool, you'll be flagged also. So we'll go ahead and click on Add. You can see we've successfully added a new cloud pool with a directory structure to create a hybrid cloud. Here we can see the cloud pool that we just created. If we drill into the details and click on the directories links, you can see our directories here. Now, if you wanted to add additional directories, you would simply click on the plus directory and then enter your new directory names. This is also how you would add a directory to an existing cloud pool. You would simply go into the cloud pool, click on the directory tab, and then click on plus directories. Let's take a look at a cloud storage pool that's been out there for a few days and already has data backed up to it. This cloud storage is also a hybrid and has a directory associated with it. If we click on directories, you can see the one directory we've defined to it. And you'll see that it has currently 312 containers associated with it and 5.9 gigabytes of data sitting in the 43.9 gigabyte directory. The thing to know about the directories is when they're used as local cache for the cloud container storage pool, the data is held only temporarily until it's transferred out to the cloud. The data in the directory cache is then deleted, freeing the file space. And for this reason, the less file space capacity is required compared to the directory container storage pools. And we do have some information out on the documentation on how to size these directories. Now, when the data is written to these directories, the data is already deduped, and if you're using encryption and compression, it's also encrypt and compressed. So as these containers fill up, the data will be transferred out to the web. In addition, if the data has been sitting for a certain amount of time, even if the container is not full, we'll go ahead and move that to the cloud. Now remember, we might have hundreds of containers inside of this individual directory. And the container size is determined automatically by Spectrum Protect. Now, when we do a move out to the cloud, we do kick off a process, a local to cloud transfer, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. If something were to happen to the directory, for instance, a hardware error, this is what it would look like inside of the operations center. I have a screenshot here. You can see the directory access is unavailable and the cloud container has been marked as critical. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the local to cloud transfer active processes. We'll go into the server, take a look at the details. We'll go into our active tasks. Then we can simply search on cloud. And here is the local to cloud transfer that's running. So what I've shown you so far is through the wizards and screens in the operations center. If you did want to do this through the command line, you can also utilize the define storage pool directory command, and then just point that to the storage pool name for that cloud, and then the actual directory names. In addition, some of the other commands associated with hybrid clouds would be the delete, query and update storage pool directory commands. So in summary, in version 717 of the Operations Center, you can set up local storage for data that is later moved to the cloud. We're referring to these as hybrid clouds, and basically we're assigning one or more local storage directories to a cloud container storage pool. And this enhances the performance of backup operations by first staging the data to local storage where it is then buffered efficiently into disk containers. The disk containers are then transferred to the cloud as larger objects, and these larger objects can achieve better performance results for both on-premise and off-premise clouds. Thank you.